Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is once again Thursday, October the 2nd of 2014, and you're looking at one of my favorite computers, um, the Dell Dimension 2350. Bought it new in 2003, still works. Had a lot of good stuff happen with this computer over the past 11 years, but if there's one thing I've never cared for about this computer, it's the graphics. Um, this computer was built during a time when Intel graphics were pretty much bottom of the barrel bad. <laughs> I remember trying to play games like The Sims 2, um, Sim City 4, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, that kind of stuff, and it would just bog the system down to a crawl to the point that it was unplayable. But somehow I was able to um, accept it and still play those games on this computer, but albeit very, very painfully, and crash happy, happy as well. And so for the past 11 years, I've always wanted this computer to have a much better video card. Well, today I was at my local Goodwill um, Computer Junction, and I happened upon this. This is one of the best video cards from the 2000s, I believe. This is the NVIDIA GeForce FX 5200. And um, the problem with this um, series of Dell systems is that they don't have AGP slots. So I've, that's one of the reasons why I've never really been able to do much of a video upgrade in this system. However, this card right here is standard PCI. Now, it still won't give me the performance of an AGP card, but it'll still be a whole lot better than what's already in it. Here are the front connections. It has two VGA outs on it, including S-Video. I guess it doesn't matter which um, connector you plug into. So yeah, um, we're going to pull this um, Dell apart and we're going to do something that's been needed to be do done to this computer for the past 11 years. And just like a true IT guy, I'm doing my computer upgrades with a um, leather um, office chair. So, hey, it works for me. <laughs> but anyway, I um, already took the slot blank out here. Um, we're going to pop it into this uh, PCI slot here. You can see the um, artifact for where an AGP slot would be, but as you can see, Dell never got around to um, adding said AGP slot. But um, hopefully this um, PCI one will um, do the job, and I do believe that I um, did the wrong slot blank, so I'll be right back. All right, swap. Uh, Alright, I swapped the uh, slot blanks around, and so now all that we have to do is go ahead and populate this top uh, PCI slot. I believe this same PCI slot used to house a, uh, a Firewire adapter that I added to this computer back in the summer of 03, right after I got it. I still have the Firewire adapter, I just don't have anywhere to use it right now. No need for it, actually. But it's in there now. We have a video card. Not sure if I'll be able to screw this in with one hand, but one interesting thing about this card is, is that those who don't know, I actually have this computer dual booted with um, not only Windows POS Ready 2009 for all the um, Windows XP related stuff, but I also have Windows 98 on here as well. And I believe that I have been able to download drivers that for Windows 98 that will work with this card. So, can you imagine Windows 98 with an FX 5200? <laughs> it might become self aware, I don't know. But we'll see um, when the time comes. All right. We got it in there. All screwed in. There's the uh, the back there. All right, let's slide the uh, cover back on the computer. There we go, and let's hook it back up. 
All right, I'm a little nervous here. Let's hope we didn't um, royally bort my um, computer that got me through my teenage years. <laughs> so, away we go. Let's see if we get a picture. Well, that's definitely a good sign. A little blurry on the camera, though, but... Aha! We have a working graphics card upgrade, folks. Alright, might as well start off with um, Windows XP. I'm sure the uh, graphics will look all wonky and disoriented when we first boot into Windows. But I got drivers and I'm going to copy to it either via network or flash drive. Thankfully, the uh, power supply in this computer is able to handle this new video card. Um, it's not the original uh, power supply, I don't believe. I've, I replaced it a couple of years ago with a more powerful one, so that's probably why it's working. It may have worked in the old one, but I don't know. And we suddenly don't have video anymore. That is odd. Let me check this out. Now we're getting somewhere. I had to hook back into the onboard graphics and go into the device manager and disable the onboard card for this to display a picture on the uh, NVIDIA card, but it seems to be working now on the um, POS Ready 2009 side, um, which I just noticed it about a minute ago. It's still booting up. Hold on, got to plug in my camera again. I think this has become a new meme. Billy Core having to charge his camera all the time. There we go. Now I can do whatever the heck I want with this camera. Well, um, family oriented that is. <laughs> oh, oh, we still got a hourglass. Yeah, yeah, I know there's no antivirus on here. Still got to do that. Alright. Let me just check everything out in Device Manager. Yep, there's the Intel onboard graphics disabled, with the FX 5200 being the only. Uh, working video card now on here and that's all right with me <laughs> it was an input button adjustment complete what's this I'll do that some other time But yeah, um, that that seems to be a successful upgrade. Um, now let's work on Windows 98. All right, back at the boot screen, let's go into Windows 98. I wonder if I'll have to switch to the onboard um, input again, or output, I should say. When I did install the drivers and all the software, as you saw in XP earlier, oh, I'll, well, good, I don't have to do anything fancy. We're only getting 16 colors though, for obvious reasons. But yeah, I'm in, I'm interested to see how this um, in, install of Windows 98 is going to run on here <laughs> with a FX 5200 card. <laughs> That's normally a really nice looking wallpaper, but for obvious reasons, that's not the case right now. <laughs> Alright, I think I copied the driver stuff over. Right, here we go. Wow, I got, wow um, if, this, if I'm reading this correctly, I can even run this on Windows 95. That is freaky. <laughs>
All right. Next, yes. Yes. When I do have sound on this computer, I just have it turned off for now. I have it running through my um, main computer there through the line in, but I don't have my speakers on right now. Come on, come on, let's reboot. Alright, Windows 98. Let's see what we got. I wonder if we're going to be seeing Windows 98 at 1080p resolution. <laughs> Whoa. Or still in 16 color mode in 640x480. I hope we don't have a problem here. Okay, just found it. I guess I had, had to give it a little bit of time and patience. I'm going to reboot again. Or not. <laughs> ah, here we go. Interestingly enough, um, Windows XP um, automatically has a driver for the FX5200, but I went on ahead and installed the software anyway. More up to date, obviously. Now, of course, Windows 98 isn't going to have drivers for it, and that's why, why we're doing what we're doing right now. Well, that looks better. Color-wise, that is. Um, uh, more? Oh, it's just... You know how Windows 98 is with monitors. I had actually detected the model number of this monitor. Love that drum! <laughs> So yeah, we got Windows 98 running on FX5200, and the wallpaper looks a lot better now. <laughs> this is an upgrade this computer has been needing for 11 years, and it's finally happened. Of course, I had to wait for things to get cheaper. Now, let's see if we can do what I think we may be able to do. You're seeing this correctly, folks. Do not adjust your screens. This is Windows 98 running at 1080p resolution. This is something you can tell your kids, folks. Yes, indeed. However, I'm not going to keep it at 1080. I'm just going to take it back down to... 800 by 600, because that's more proper for 98. And it's still seeing the um, onboard, but it's running off the uh, G Force right now. So, yeah, that is. What I have to say, a successful upgrade. So for now, this is Billy Core signing off on October the 2nd of 2014.